So we'll continue the third part for the same episode on the book of Lamentation, right? As I say, you know, today, you know, the pagan, the pagan calendar, right? The wicked calendar, you know, we see in 2020. Okay, we are yet in 2021, right? So we're like 20th or 22nd or 20 something day of the 11th month of the biblical year. Of the godly year, okay, we're in the eleventh month, okay. We're heading toward the end of the month within like a week and a half, or almost like less than two weeks. Less than two weeks, we'll be at the end of the eleventh month, and that will be what well, the beginning of the twelfth month. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless be the Most High. Okay, so let's continue. This is the book of Lamentation, chapter three, and verse fifty-four. He said, "What is flow over my head. You know what does it mean? So right here, it's not literally talking about us being, dr being drowned in the water. No. It's talking about this nation being ruling over us. Because when water f flow over your head, right? you know what does it mean? That means you're getting drowned. So when you're getting drunk, that means you die. So this is a dark saying. So somebody might really think that he's talking. No, he's not talking about somebody in the river swimming and then you're getting drunk. No, he's not talking about that. It's a dark saying. It's a proverb. Okay? It's a dark saying. What is the most high saying? The most high saying simply that what? That the nation, they are ruling over us. Then I said, I am cut off. Are we cut off? Are we ruling today? Nope. We the tell today, as the most I told our forefather. He said, I'm cut off. I call upon thy name, O Lord, out of the low dungeon. Thou hast heard my voice. High not thine ear at my breathing, at my breathing, at my cry. Okay? Thou drewest near in the day that I call upon thee. Thou said, Fear not, O Lord, thou hast pleaded. The causes of my soul. Thou has redeemed my life. And man, we call on the Most High to redeem our life. And He redeemed our life already to who? Have a shy, I'm a shiak. Okay. Oh Lord, thou have seen my wrong. Judge thou my cause. Thou has seen all the vengeance and all the imagination against me. Against who? The Israelite against the so-called blacks, Latino, and native in it, against Jeremiah, against the servants of the Most High, against the prophet of the Most High on the highway, on the byway, on the internet doing the work of the Most High. Right? Let's continue. He say, verse 61, Proverb, Proverb 3, 61, Thou hast heard the reproach, O Lord, in all the imagination against me, the lips of those that rose up against me and the device against me all the day. Behold, they're sitting down and they're rising up. I am the music. So they're always talking about us. They're always singing. They're always mocking us. All this nation, this water, this nation, this 18 nation, this 18 waters. You want to call it like 18 water, 18 nation, 18 people. They're always mocking the 12th of Israel. They're always praying for our downfall, our demise. All the evil can come upon us. They rejoice over that, right? He said, the lips of those that rose up against me and the device against me all the day. Behold, they're sitting down and they're rising up. I am their music. Render unto them a recompense, O Lord Yahweh, according to the work of the hand. Give them sorrow of heart. Thy curse unto them. Persecute them and destroy them in anger from under the heaven of the Lord. You see that? Let's go in the book of Baruch. So we're trying to exalt one another. So after reading the Lamentation chapter 3, which I just finished up, we'll continue the other episode another day to the might, the will of the Most High, the Most High allow us. So we will exalt you with this one right here. This is the book of Baruch. Chapter 3, and verses 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us, who scattered us? Yahweh, the Most High. For a reproach and a curse, 
And to be subject to payment, that's where we've been subject to payment. Regardless of the land whatsoever we live in, we got to pay for the water. We got to pay for the wood. We got to pay for the bread. We got to pay for everything. Because our wrong doing. Okay? And to be subject to payment. According to all the iniquity of our fathers, we departed from the Lord, our God, Yahweh, power. Here, Israel, the commandment of life. So thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You know, six days shall work be done. You know, the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. You know, hold on that father and that mother. Uh, 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 keep the feast of the Lord. And the list goes on and on and on. Okay? He said, hear Israel, the commandment of life. Give ear to understanding wisdom. How happened it? Israel. That thou art all, that thou art in thy enemy's land. That thou art wasn't old in a strange country. That thou art be defiled with the dead. Jer uh, 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 Proverbs 21 and verses 9 or 14. Okay. He said, thou, that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. Thou have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Is the most high. Okay. Is the most high. It's not a television. It's not a television. It's not a soap opera. It's not a music industry. It's not a movie industry. The Bible. The mouth of the most high. The voice of the most high. For if thou hast walked in the way of God, Yahweh, thou shouldest have dwelt in peace forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Which we did not do, did we do it? Nay. Verse 14, Baruch 3 and 14. Learn where is wisdom. What is wisdom? Is in the Bible. In the law, the commandment of the Mosai. The 613 laws and commandment of the Mosai. Where is strength? Where is understanding? That thou mayest know also where is length of days and life. Where is the light? Of the eyes in peace. Let's go right here. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verses 1. This is the book of the commandment of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. So the law of the Moses is forever, is not done away with. The book of Matthew 5, 17 through 20. If you love me, John 14 and 15. And verse 21, if you love me, keep my commandment. He said, this is the book of the commandment of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as liveth shall die. You see, and that's the main reason why we die on high number from all type of filthy things. We die on high number. Why? Because we will not listen unto the most high. Because we will not keep the commandment of the Most High. We just want to do evil. Okay? We just want to do evil. Right? Let's continue. He said, Turn thee, O Jacob, Yashallah, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the prisons. So we got to walk in the prisons. <laughs> he said, Walk in the prison of the light. What is the light? How was Shia Mashiach? He's that light that came down from heaven. He's that bread that came down from heaven. Okay? He's not the pastor. Okay? He said, Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Oh Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people. The memory of Israel, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you move Yahweh power to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies 
Esau, Edom, Idumia, the Ishmaelite, all the other nations, the Babylonian, the Mid Persian, the Egyptian, etc., the Greeks, etc. For ye provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. You see, who made us? The Most High. It's not men, it's not women. No, who made us? The Most High. Let me read it. For ye provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to power. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up from where? Egypt, from captivity. He brought the so-called Native Indian, the so-called Blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. And ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Who nursed us? Who nursed the so-called Blacks, Latino, and Native Indian? Our mother, the land, Jerusalem. Let's go to Galatians 4, 26. Because somebody might be, you know, what is he saying? Let's go to Galatians 4, 26. Right. Jerusalem is our motherland. That's our main mother right there. So let's go to the book of Galatians. Getting to the end okay, of, of this episode, right? Galatians chapter 4, and let's read verse 26. This is the book of Galatians chapter 4. And verse 26, he said, But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. For it is written, Rejoice, thou barren, thou bearest not. That's the land. That's the land right there. Why? Because the people of the land has been evicted because of their wrongdoing from the land. We have been evicted from the land because of our wrongdoing, because of uh, our way, because of our evil way. Okay? Break forth and cry. What is crying? The land, Jerusalem. Thou that travelest not, for the desolate has many more children. The land, the Jerusalem, has many more children. Why? Why? Because we are just as well the sand of the sea. Okay? Hosea 1 and 10. Okay? We are many. Okay? For the desolate have many more children than she wish had an husband. So you see that? That's important. Okay? Let's continue. He say. Let's continue. He say. That nurse you. For when she saw the wrath of power Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, Yahweh have brought upon me great mourning. Upon who? The land. Upon the people. Okay. For I saw the captivity, for I saw the captivity of my sons. And daughter, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me. A widow and forsaken of many. Who for the sins of my children, because of my sin, because of our sin, the sin of our forefather, I'm left desolate. Because they depart from the law of Yahweh. They knew not his statutes, nor walking in the way of his commandments, nor trodden in the path of discipline in his righteousness, which is the law still. Let's continue. Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters. This is the lame money, brother and sister, which the everlasting Yahweh power had brought upon them. For he had brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, Esau Edom, who neither reverence old man nor pity child. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow. And left her that was alone, desolate, without daughter, without inhabitant, without the twelve tribe of Israel. But what can I help you? 
For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hand of your enemy. Brother and sister, that's where we will end up at. With that, we give all honor, praises, glory, power to the most high, the living God, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And we say, Shalom, and we shall be right back another time for another episode of the book of Lamentation. Stay happy, keep the law, the commandment of the Most High, and we say, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.